In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Mimeo Vote quiz that you can then use your Mimeo Vote classroom response systems with your students. The first step that you need to take is to launch the Mimeo Notebook software. You're going to find your Mimeo Studio icon in the menu on your Mac. Choose Notebook, and what you'll get is a blank notebook file like the one I have in front of me. Our first step is to add the questions into our notebook file. In order to get those questions, we need to be able to see our gallery. So if you look, I'm going to click on the button that is for our gallery browser. This will bring up our gallery, and I've actually expanded our library so that you can see exactly where I need to go. But just so you can see where I'm at, in the gallery there's a folder called Questions and Results, and I just expanded that folder and then I'm going to start looking for questions so I'm going to expand the questions folder. When I click on that below in the gallery I get the choices of the different types of questions I want to ask. So for example if I wanted to do a multiple choice question with three possible answers I would drag one of those multiple choice ABC out onto my um, slide. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this multiple choice ABC and I drag it onto my slide and you can see that the question has room for me um, to write in a question and room for me to put the appropriate answer. So notice in this particular question I have A, B, C or then none of the above. Um, and what I need to do is make sure that I choose the correct answer so that it's kind of like creating an answer key. So if the B answer was going to be my correct answer I would simply click beside the B and then that would indicate to the program that B is my correct answer. Every question that you have is going to have a cog in the lower right hand corner and I'm just going to click on that so you can see the different options you have available for your questions. So on the fly I can change my question to be a kind of a selection or true false, uh, two answer multiple choice, three answer four or five answer multiple choice. The next section says, how do I want to indicate the correct answer? Currently, the correct answer would be circled, but I could have a check mark, a star, a smiley face, or any of these numbers, uh, number of options available to indicate which answer is correct. Each question can be weighted depending upon the importance that you want to apply to that question, and here's where you would do that. So if this were a particularly important question, I could weight that heavier. Once I've changed these options, I simply click on the check button in the lower right hand corner and my question pops right back up. Two more things that you need to note. The first one is, once you've got your question completely filled in, your question with your multiple choice answers, then you're going to want to um, either right click on that object or click on that object and go up to your format menu and choose locking lock. This is going to remove that bright blue box around your question and make it ready to answer for the students. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this just for a moment to show you the next thing that I think is pretty cool with the Mimeo Studio. Um, one side note. I can resize this if I want to to make it all a little bit larger or smaller and fit it on my screen however I want to. So the second thing that I wanted to show you is I really like this feature about the Mimeo votes. Um, once I have one question created, if I'm creating a series of similar questions, for example, multiple choice with three options for an answer, I can simply come over to the thumbnail, select the first thumbnail, right click on it, and choose new page or if I come over here to the insert menu I can actually say insert oops, excuse me insert a duplicate page what that does is it puts in a three answer multiple choice question and automatically numbers it to be the next number in the series of questions so I can then come in here and I can edit my questions and again, put the correct um, 
answer indicator and then fill in my answers. I like that um, option. That's a very quick way to insert your questions when you're creating a test. So this is just a very quick guide of how to um, create some questions to start using your Mimeo votes in your classroom.